What's up Trap Squad, we are back with another Pokemon Go video and in this one we're going to be going over how to defeat Cliff and his Aerodactyl. Of the three leaders, this is definitely the hardest one with all the new Pokemon they got and you're going to need the right counters and some right moves to defeat them. So stay tuned to find out how to defeat Cliff. Let's get it. So when I started this fight, I was using Melmetal at first because it's what was suggested online. But you also don't know what the other two Pokemon are. So after fighting him once or twice and learning his lineup, I narrowed it down to Kyogre, Dark Ray, and Machop. These are the Pokemon for the specific lineup I had a battle against. But I'll give you guys a full guide of every Pokemon he can have and which Pokemon you should use to counter him. And if you haven't had a chance, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Like the video and share with others that are struggling to be Cliff, right? Because he is really hard. I'm level 42, about to be 43. And I, I struggled with Aerodactyl at first. He is a hard opponent. And if you want to check out my other guides as well, I've made a Beldum guide. And I will also be making a guide on how to defeat Sierra and her Carvana. But first, he'll always have a Shadow Aerodactyl. And this little sucker hits hard right. Like, I've tried many combinations, many Pokemon. And from what I've seen online in my experience, is use something that has the attack waterfall as its first move. So, recommended is Kyogre because it's a hard hitter and it's very tanky. Even though it still died. But at least you may be able to get an attack or two off. And Polion is also a great choice with waterfall and hydro cannon. And lastly, if none of that is working, you might need a Tyranitar with Smackdown or a Cambolian with Metal Claw. But at the end of the day, even if you're a low level, just find something that has an attack Waterfall or get a Pokemon that can learn Waterfall and just TM yourself that attack. And as you can see in the video, my Kyogre ended up dying. So the reason I switched to Machamp next because I knew the Aerodactyl had a little bit of energy and I can kill him real quick. And he was going to attack me so I could use his shield. And my goal was to have energy saved up and then switch to the Dark Ray, which will take care of the second Pokemon coming up, Slowking. And by the time the third one comes out, which ends up being Tyranitar, I already have the energy saved up to hit him with the Dynamic Punch. Cliff Sloking has a Confusion Water type fast move and Psychic Blizzard and Fire Blast as his charge move. So he does have a variety pool here, but honestly, a nice strong dark type like Umbreon should do the job, right? Also, a Giratina Alter form or even an electric type, like whatever your strongest Pokemon in that category is, go with them, right? If you're a higher level, this should be no problem. But if you're a lower level and you're struggling to get Pokemon, just find your strongest dark type Pokemon and make sure it has dark type attack. The other two Pokemon that Cliff can have is Gallade and Cradilly. On screen will be the different type of Pokemon you need to use, but for Gallade, focus on a Steel type Pokemon. Steel type Pokemon are very strong, and if you have anything like a Heatran, possibly Jirachi, that would be the way to go. You could also attack it on its dark side, which another Umbreon or Dark Ray should do the job. For Cradilly, you're looking at a Bug type Pokemon and Grass, so a strong Fire type will always get the job done. And again, on the last fight, I got Tyranitar, which my Machamp with loaded energy was perfect, right? The Machamp would have still done a lot of damage, but he could also have Manoswine and Duxnoir. These are Pokemon, again, that are really tough to take down, so you're going to need some really good counters. For the Tyranitar, anything that's a fighting type would have helped you, right? There's a lot of Machamps, and if you have a good Konkendor or a Hirayama, anything that has a fast move counter is going to help you a lot. And... He is super effective against fighting type because of the rock and dark type, so he should be a breeze. The dust Nor is really easy to counter. The majority of his moves are ghost, and he takes a lot of reduced damage from normal and dark type Pokemon. So Snorlax with Lick is going to be a breeze. Also Obstagoon, Licky Licky, Porygon, anything that's dark or normal, this is the way to go. And lastly will be Mamoswine. Mamoswine is a little stronger, honestly. Um, Hit Must Slap hits a little hard. But as you can tell here, anything that has Waterfall is going to be super clutch, right? Empoleon, Kyogre, look up the list of Pokemon that have Waterfall. And if he has Mudshot, you can use a Dragon Out or a Togekiss to easily take him down. And another quick tip I can give you guys is when you guys start attacking the leader's Pokemon, it takes him a second or two to attack back. So if you have energy, make sure you overcharge, use an attack. And when you finish using your attack, they'll stop attacking you. So this is your chance to get two, three more hits get energy and if your Pokemon's getting low you can swap when the Pokemon comes in your new one he's also going to take another two three seconds in order to attack you back so this could be the difference between like taking him out or him doing more damage to you and once again Trap Squad thank you for stopping by I really appreciate all the support thank you guys for liking subscribing to the channel and again share this video with people that really want to know this information I put out a Beldum guide yesterday so you can check that out below 
and I'll be putting out Sierra and Carvana guide out tomorrow. I had to do some research on that, see what Pokemon she has, and the best way to counter it. Thank you for stopping by. Till next time.